were right. Facebook Live. Oh, I'll be straight out with this. I have literally been sitting in my car after gym, after a phone call for probably half an hour. Like, thinking I've just got to get something out. I've got to, like a few things the last few days have just, they've started to, to get to me like really, really deep. And then just having a phone call then just really, really cut. And I, I was sitting there and um, I was going to do a post and I was going to like share something and I'm like, fuck it. I, I'm, re- I'm really upset. I'm like serious. I'm just like, so whatever, whatever comes out in this live feed comes out. I really don't give a fuck. That's a, a massive reason why I'm doing it right now. I say I'm sitting there just having tears in my eyes, and I'm not going to mention names in this, but just talking to someone who's really, really, really close to me, really close to me, and just sort of talking about what he's going through and what I'm doing, what I've been doing, and I'm like I've just got to share. I'm like I've just got to just got to share. I'm like. I, I started this stuff because I'll go back about 18 months ago I started this stuff because I was just not happy what I was doing like a lot of people forget when when they're around you and they see what you've done they, they don't get what goes on behind the scenes and especially when people are close to you they just see like they see me and and I'm talking about family here so any of my family whatever comes out here you know what I'm like I say I'm really fucking vulnerable here, but that's why I'm doing it. Like I moved away from a really, really good job, and it really fucking cut me up to see the people that were close to me go through the shit they did, and then I go and do all this work, work on myself. See, it's bandied about a lot about personal development, personal growth. People don't fucking get it. It's the shit that's right in here. I can't even talk. But I got out of a job because I wasn't happy. Simple as that. I had people close to me who were in that and I watched their life fall apart. Like massively, massively. And I've gone on this journey and people see it. People see it. They're like, fuck. I tell them I've invested time and money. And I've had a I've had a ball, but doing all these things, and I, I threw away this job that was paying me like four grand a week. By people around me that I'm talking to a lot now, and I'll talk about family and stuff close to me. They still don't get it. I I, I get it to a certain point, but when then I just get off the phone then to someone fucking close to me, who, who's turned his life around by getting away from that shit. Getting his fucking family back together. Now he's fucking depressed and talking about all this shit and not happy and thinking about going back there and will not listen and... It just... It fucking... It cuts me deep. Like, you hear all this stuff out there about... Like... Your family and that. They're they're there to support you and that. But they're gonna... They're the ones that are probably gonna hold you back the most. I've just had a massive, massive fucking... A massive awakening right now. The ones I want to help the most through my own journey and my fucking family. But when they come out with stuff that what I'm working on I can help and they don't listen and they would rather go through the same shit that they fucking forgot about that fucked them up so much such a short time ago, it fucking hurts. There's so there's so much out there, there's so much fucking bullshit and and non-congruent stuff and non-authentic stuff that people aren't going through stuff with their family. They just put stuff out there. Yeah, fucking your family and friends won't get it, blah, blah, blah. But fucking when you go through it, I've done a lot of work on myself, guys. It takes me a fucking lot to get upset these days. And I've just come to the realisation that the thing that I need to move on is I've just got to fucking keep pushing and working on myself. You can't convince anyone close to you guys. You can't convince anyone. You can't. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if you take this as network marketing. 
whatever it is, if you're following your dreams, whatever that involves, is it just for you, it's just for you, cool. For me, it's not. I might put out there a lot that I'm happy doing what I'm doing and people will follow that, but you know what, at the end of the day, if you're, if you're true to yourself, you're doing this to help others. If you're true with what you're doing, and you want to con- con- contribute, and I know this, and the only reason I'm sharing this, like I say, I can fucking sit and hide behind a, a written post. I can sit and hide and, and say it's okay, but it's fucking not. Like seriously, I, I could be at this point now and just switch off. But you know what, when you do this stuff, when you go on this journey, whatever it is, you got to show the deep shit that fucking holds you back. you got to speak about it. I've got people in my team that I, I front up for every day. They don't listen a lot and that's cool. And a lot of the stuff that holds them back is family, is friends. And it doesn't have to be what you've got or what you're doing, but it's always going to be something that fucking is deep inside. It's going to be the thing that, that holds you back or it fucking drives you. And you know what? People talk about their why. And even me, I've gone deep on this and I keep going. And this is this is the part. And like, I need to kick up the ass every now and then. But sometimes you've really got to fucking tap into some deep shit to really fucking get a rocket and really fucking blow shit away. And you know what? So many fucking people in the world will hide behind this. They will use this sort of shit. The stuff that's really emotional. The stuff that really fucking gets to them. The stuff where they know they can make a difference. They will use that stuff to stop. They will use this emotional shit to stop. They will use this emotional shit to throw out excuses. They will use this to go back to their own fucking bullshit ways. And fucking exist. And it fucking shits me. It's the only reason I'm sharing this now. only reason this is nothing about me this is nothing about what I'm doing this is nothing about leading anything into anything I do everything I do I want people to see that realness is what's gonna get you in front in life and you cannot get any more fucking real than when you hear the same stuff from people close to you when they just don't get it and the the thing that hurts is the fact that You cannot, you cannot fucking convince them. You cannot, no matter what you do, the only thing you can do is is do what you're doing. That fucking hurts. I I don't I don't fucking get emotional much. And like I say, I I just wanted to share this just just to know if if you are doing something and you're not where you wanna be, and you're not where you wanna be, but you know what you wanna do. Don't fucking let anything hold you back. Don't let your fucking why be your why not. Because that's the, that's the biggest thing I see. Take it away from my shit. And this is my shit. Take it away. So many people, so many people use their why as their why not. They might make a change. They might see the benefits short term. Yes, yes, yes. But something fucking comes up, they'll go back to their old ways. That's. I think that's what tears at me more. I think that that's what hurts me more. When you see something change so much from a a great decision. And then, like I say, it takes that that to trigger me. Fuck, I've needed a trigger too. This is the thing. I'm I'm not even looking at the comments. I don't even know what I'm coming out with now. I hope it's something that you can use. That's why I wanted to share it. it. Really is. See, a lot of the time, this sort of stuff, and I'll... I don't, I don't like talking about family a lot, and sometimes it's, yeah, I don't know, they, they don't get it sometimes, like, like I say, I'll go back to it, I was in the mines, I was earning good money, guys, good money, I had a lot of stuff, I had a lot of material things, from the outside, people see me, every my family, you're doing great, you're doing amazing, all this, but the shit that's going on in here, the shit that, see this stuff now? Like, this is not fucking put on. I've been fucking sitting here just like... This is the shit that I used to hide away from. This is the shit that I used to suppress for years and years. Not just family, like friends, people around me. But I I knew, and the reason, the big reason I made a decision to just 
well, in people's perspective, throw that away. I didn't throw it away. I just didn't want to do it anymore. Because I was sick of suppressing stuff. I was sick of holding stuff back. I used to blurt out with stuff to, to, to put on a mask. I was angry. It was like a front. And the more I realized that the more you let out stuff, be it right or wrong, that's, that's true growth. Vulnerability is growth. I don't give a fuck about the financial shit. I really don't. I always talked about it. Massive sideways step. I'll, I'll be honest. I took a fucking huge backward step financially. Massive. Massive. And if it wasn't for the people around me to keep me going, when I tapped into that why I was doing it, I swear to God I would not be fucking here now. There's so many people in this life do not get that. They would rather lose shit. They would rather put themselves through pain. They would r- rather suppress stuff at the expense of what they think they're doing a benefit to others. It's not selfish, guys. This is... you got to make changes in your life. If you want to make changes, if you're not happy with what you're doing, do something different. Get vulnerable. Get upset. Be emotional. Be judged. Speak out whatever the fuck you're holding back. Speak it out. Because whatever comes out of the time is right. I don't even care if this is just mumbled shit. I don't care. I need to get this out. Something just... I had to be triggered. It had to come from the person that's fucking closest to me. I don't know. It's just something, guys. There's so much bullshit in this world. There's so much fakeness. I cop a lot of it. And you know what? I don't. It doesn't hurt me. The stuff when people say you're not authentic. The stuff when people have a go at me. It doesn't hurt me because I know it's not true. It's a massive reason why I just keep going with this. Just be real. People don't get real. People bullshit real. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's real. Fuck off. Reels when you fucking want to grow. Reels when you're vulnerable. Reels when you want to share it. I only share my shit so people will resonate. If you want to ask questions, ask questions. Do it. A question is getting stuck something out. You hold back a question, you're suppressing shit. If you want to know something, ask. If you want to tell someone something that's that's just bugging you, just tell them with with no judgment. That can't hurt. But you know what? We're so fucking conditioned to hold back, especially men. Massive thing I got out of beast mode and I'll fucking never, the biggest year of my life ever. So many fucking men suppress shit because of this stuff. So many people lose friends They lose family because they don't speak this shit. What's the point? Serious. If something is fucking hurting you inside, get that shit out. You've just got to. For whatever purpose it serves, it serves a purpose. It serves a purpose, whatever it is. And and at the end of the day, that purpose is for you. Because you know what? You're not living anyone else's fucking life. I want to, I want to help as many people as I can. I want to help my family. I want to help my friends. But you know what? If I suppress shit and hold shit back, if I if I don't continue to be vulnerable and grow, I can't help shit. Because I'm not being authentic. Because I'm not being real. I only want fucking people to see that. The real ones are the ones that make this a success. The real people are the ones that came into my life when I started being real. The real ones are the ones that just showed up. All of them. See, I've been fucking flying. I have. I've been flying. But you know what I've learned? It's not always the challenges are the things that that make you grow. This is not a challenge for me. This is just something that I needed to get out. So many people see a challenge as like a fucking... Well, I'm not getting sign-ups, or my business is not going well, or I, whatever else bullshit excuse. You know what? It's the shit that's at your core. The shit that's at your core. 
The stuff you've grown up with since you were fucking this small. That's the stuff that you need to go to. That's the stuff that you need to work on. Anyone can run a business. Anyone can fucking talk to people. Seriously. But it's this, it's this, this shit that eats you up inside. It only eats you up inside because you fucking let it. I say, I don't know if this is helping anyone. I, I don't know. I appreciate the love. I haven't got the comments. This is not about me getting comments or anything like that. I just, I just know that there's so many people out there that that hold so much stuff back. I use social media all the time as the example. I put all my stuff on social media. I have fun. Everyone can fucking put up false fucking stuff on there. Anyone can do that. The biggest thing I've learned about personal growth is this shit right now. I say that this is an amplifier for this. It's amplifier for shit. It's amplifier for fucking authenticity. Can't even say the word. I learned that when I got into this. I had so many great people around me. That's what their journey was about. I've got so many great fucking people around me now. And I go back to that. I, I you, you can hear anything. People can tell you stuff. But if you don't listen, if they're not authentic, you don't listen. And that's what I've learned too. And like I say, I, I'm just so grateful that I can, I can even come out with any of this, whatever it is, and and just have support. Like I say, this is it's probably turned into a rant, but I just I just felt like getting it out. See, I have to take shit to another level. I have to. I have to continue to do that. Everyone has to do that. If you don't do that, you are existing. And that's what I think hurts me the most. That I see people close to me that. They just don't get it so they exist. They just don't get it so they they go back to old ways. So much is tied to fucking money. So much is tied to shit they don't want to talk about. So much is tied to the fact that they don't want to do something a little bit fucking different and get vulnerable and get the fuck out of their comfort zone and just maybe fucking take a massive backward step. So many people said that to me. Why the fuck are you quitting that? Why why did you stop? I worked for 20 years to get to a point where I could earn good money. Money is fuck all. Fuck all if you can't talk to people. It's fuck all if you can't go out and meet new people and connect. Have fun. Be grateful for the simple things. Go do what you love. That's why I did it. That's why I keep doing it. That's why I keep just showing people. It doesn't always work out right, guys. But I tell you what. If you don't do something different, if you're fucking stuck... And you're just going around in circles and you, you, you're you upset inside. You're not confident. You would rather fucking go and take a pill from the fucking doctor and suppress that shit. That's why I do this shit. That's why I continue to do something different. That's why I continue to, to not make things work, to learn the lessons. That's all it is, guys. Be real. I'm gonna say, I, there's definitely no sympathy coming for me on this. I've needed to to tap into something. I've needed to 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 find something because I tell you what, lately it's just been a lot of times I've banged my head up against the wall and I'm like, fuck, what am I doing this for? I could make one phone call now and I could go back to that shit, but what's the point? That's a backward step. That's a backward step. Going back to a life that that I did not like. Going back to a life where I kept myself safe. Going back to a life where I spent time in such a negative environment where people were just like, no, I don't like this. I fucking hate this. This is shit. When's the next big project? I don't know what I'm doing with work. My missus at home annoy me. Your kids, I don't get to see them. I'm fucking going for a breakup. This is shit. That's what I used to listen to every day and put on a brave face. It's a big reason why I kept myself single for so long. I'm like, I can't put myself through that shit. I can't put anyone else through that shit. So when people tell me now, why the hell did you move away from that life? When people close to me go, well, why the fuck are you selling your house? Why the hell are you doing this? This is why I'm doing this. To make it as real as possible for all you people out there that just do not get it. That you need someone to see to keep it real. To maybe inspire you to say, fuck, I've got to talk up. I've got to speak up. 
Like I say, here in Oz, even you guys in, in the US that I'm really good friends with now and that, I don't know what it's like over there, but we are so fucking conditioned to stay in this bullshit round the clock, go to your job, pay for fucking bills, pay off a house for 35 years just to support your family so when they grow up, they see you go into retirement and sit in a fucking caravan park, spend your bloody super on fucking a car and a caravan and you can't even walk around to fucking enjoy it. That's real. Anyway, this could go on for hours, guys. I really do appreciate you listening. I'm going to get to the comments after. I'm not going to go in here. This was better than writing this. I was going to, like I say, I was going to hide behind a written post and do this, but I'm like, no, this is it. This is it. I'm going to get to work now because that's what I know I've got to do. Otherwise, it's a backward step. So massive gratitude to you guys for jumping on. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I hope this resonates with someone. Else. I know it will resonate with people. People close to you guys, they're the ones that are in here at the core. They're the ones that are going to hold you back. But it's your choice to move on. It's your choice to keep that there. It's your choice to suppress this shit. But it's your choice to keep moving. So thank you, everyone.